Hi, I'm Dr. Frank A. Thomas with another installment of this digital series on African-American preaching. Today, I want to discuss a question that is often asked, and the question is, why must preaching be called African-American, or why must it be called black? Why can't it just be called preaching? And I, this is a very important question that I want to clarify. And you know, I begin my response by saying, most of us hear the gospel through the lens of our own experience, and the gospel only becomes real if it touches our experience. In America, slaves were taught by their masters from the Bible, be obedient to your masters. That scripture was used to make the servant docile, pliant, acceptive of their condition. This is what many, many, many slaves were taught. They were taught something called the ham doctrine. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but you remember uh, back in Genesis that um, Noah was lying naked in his tent and uh, two of his sons discovered him and uh, Canaan was cursed and uh, from Canaan, Ham, and so Ham is black or Kim in the uh, Egyptian, which is of the black land. And so black people were meant to be hewers of wood and drawers of waters because we were sons of Ham. We were cursed way back there with Noah. And that's why we should accept our lot. But slaves looked back in the Bible and found where Pharaoh is told by Moses, let my people go. We found the tradition of liberation, of equality, of personhood, of dignity, of justice. And so simply because it's more healing and redemptive to black people to hear, let my people go, than we were meant to be hewers of waters and we were cursed with the curse, African-American preaching developed. African-American preaching is formed in the application of the gospel to help set people free spiritually, emotionally, and bodily. Spiritually, emotionally and bodily. It is a tradition that believes in freedom and justice, not only for African-Americans, but for any people that are oppressed or bound or slaves or people who are harmed and hurt and oppressed and injured. This is why I love to call it African-American preaching because the best of the gospel of Jesus Christ is liberation from sin, degradation, name calling, second class citizenship. Jesus moved in spheres of equality and lived in fact, let my people go. He died on a cross so that we would be let go. This is the beauty and genius of the African American preaching tradition and I'm proud to be part of it. And please don't forget that each and every Monday we do a Periscope live broadcast, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Twice a week, we release videos in this series on African-American preaching. And finally, each and every week, we upload spiritual vitamins to SoundCloud. We want to make sure that you will subscribe to each of these platforms. And I know you want to get as fast as you can this powerful information that's coming forth. So sign up. God bless you. And thank you so much for watching.